I said I was gonna do the front view of the F40 after I did the rear view, which has put me in quite a difficult spot. How am I going to solve the pop-up headlights and make that into a modern version? Just act as if you know what you're doing and I think you'll be fine. Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's the Sketch Monkey here, and I have no idea what kind of situation I have put myself in, except for that is a very challenging one, and that is, of course, how are we going to turn this 1991, 1988, maybe, Ferrari F40? into a modern version of itself. It's a lot easier when you have the rear view because you don't have any features in the rear that can't be directly modernized. But here, of course, we have the pop-up headlights. So we need to do something about that because if I remove just this piece right here, this, the pop-up headlights and make this into the main light, we're gonna have a problem because we're gonna have a big massive surface right here and the entire surface of the the hood or the trunk is it's going to be very boring because there's not going to be a lot going on there if we just have a tiny little headlight square down there in the corner and that's just one of all the challenges we're gonna have today and that is just one of about 153 challenges we're gonna have <laughs> in today's video. But honestly, I'm really happy about this video because I love to challenge myself and I actually made the F40. I've, I've been putting it off for a long time because it's such a iconic car. And I know a lot of people are gonna be angry because you're modernizing the F40, are you crazy? Well, the thing is, would it be more fun if I just left all the classics alone? No, it's a fun exercise to do these modernizations of the Countach, the F40. 40, maybe the F50, but that's already a pretty modern car. Anyway, so I love to challenge myself and this is a huge challenge. So what are we gonna do here to create, turn this into a modern version of the F40? Well, we have to be consistent with the previous modernization, which was from a three quarter rear view of the F40 and try to keep the same style, of course, so that we make it into one single car that uh, you can walk around all around the car and you see the same consistent lines everywhere. So the key thing here is going to be exactly like it was with the rear view. We, got, we need to update the, some of the trim details on here from the 80s, turning into the modern era, such as the, the trim piece that goes around the window here, which I talked about in the previous video as well. And also these are very industrial looking air intakes. I wanna have them of course be more organic. So maybe create some, you know, the styling that we did on the previous video as well. Just have some arrow looking graphics here that creates a forward motion when you look at it from a side. And I think the air intakes helps with that visualization. There was also a lot of talk about the wheels that I could have modernized the wheels in the previous design, but this, these wheels to me are so F40 and to me, I mean, they look like they could be made today. It's, it's not, it's not a, uh, you know, it's not a unmodern wheel design. It's a little bit 80s with its edginess, but to me, if I were to, to, mo to create a retro Ferrari F40, I think these wheels are the perfect wheels to go with that. We only need to change the stands and how they fit within the wheelhouse and make that modern, but the styling of the wheels themselves totally fits the, the redesign that we're going to do here today. And so what are we gonna do here with this surface right there that I talked about? I don't wanna have it be a massive surface. There's nothing going on there. It's going to look very weird and very flat. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to make an intake. So these intakes right here, I'm gonna take them away because they are part of this industrial looking uh, styling that we have here on the sides as well. And since these two are going to change, I might as well change these as well. So what I wanna have, instead of this pop-up headlight here, and I know some of you are gonna say, well, it's not an F40 if it's not a pop-up head, if it doesn't have pop-up headlights. But the thing is, I mean, if this is going to be a car built today, when pop-up headlights are no longer allowed or legal, it's just not going to make a lot of sense. So we need to come up with something other than that. So what I wanna do is just modify these these had these lights down here to make them into the the uh, the he headlight unit of this modernization. 
of the F40. And on top of that, I want to have some intake, some lines that go something like this. And then we have an intake here. So these intakes right here, they become these intakes here. And then this line, you're going to be able to follow this line into the grill of the car, creating the traditional smiley, uh, modern Ferrari grill that we're going to create on the F40 here, but also not just you're not just going to be following this line down here. It's going to continue into this uh, this the bottom line of this intake right here, and then this is going to go up in this this C pillar right here, and then continue down there as well. So we're going to have almost like a full circle if you if you follow this line into the hood into the fender through the door cut line and into the intake up to the C pillar, pillar and into the actual side of the greenhouse. I think that is going to be a cool solution solving this problem. But you know, the only way to find out if it's actually going to work is to actually create it and to sketch it out. So what else are we going to do here? You see these bump, this bumper here, this whole thing is going to change. I'm going to have similar graphics as we have right here, I want to have something similar right here. So some triangular uh, California style intake right here, that of course, plays along with the modern grill that we're going to add here. And of course, we need to add something here in the bottom because modern Ferraris or modern cars, they don't just end like this edge here, we need to have some sort of arrow down here, maybe create a cut line that goes like this and that that this line itself goes in to the rear section of the car and creates some sort of uh, rear diffuser like we did on the modernization of the rear view. Another thing I want to address is the lack of change I did for the rear spoiler. But I mean, this is an F40. And when I redesign cars, when I modernize cars, I don't want to sketch an F40 from from scratch, like a modern looking concept. That's not what I do on this channel. There are a bunch of fantastic looking uh, new versions of what the F40 could look like, but I want to keep the original 80s proportions of the car. You know, the, the major design features of the F40, I want to keep them intact and the wing Obviously, it's one of the major, major design features of the F40 and just the way it looks and the way it comes in with the end of the car, almost like a straight line going down. So these are details that I want to keep, but overall, I want it to be an homage to the original F40, more, more of an homage than a complete new model, if that makes sense. And with that said, let's continue here now in Photoshop and let's take on this challenge and let's see how this modern version of the front view of the Ferrari F40 is going to turn out. I can tell you how long I sat and just trying to think about how I would solve the front end of this F40. But the thing is, and this is a lesson I want to share with you, and it's a, it's it happens every single time I start a new design or start a new uh, task of doing something. I this, The sooner you start with the first little thing of that task, the faster you're going to get it done. I know it sounds pretty obvious to, to get started, but it's just sitting and thinking about things instead of taking the first steps is just going to waste a lot of time. And that's what I feel I did with F40. I had some... Uh, ideas before I started this sketch, but always the easiest thing to do or the better thing to do is always to just start with the first couple of lines and then you're going to notice how much everything starts to flow slowly once you just fire up and start that creative engine in your brain and you do that only by doing. And it's just a little tip I wanted to share if you're struggling with creativity or whatever and you feel like maybe you don't know what to sketch but you feel like you want to sketch something or you feel like you want to maybe write something or paint something. The easiest way is to just stop thinking about what to write or what to paint 
and just put down those first strokes because it's going to help your mind see things easier when you have them visually in front of you. It's just a quick tip I wanted to share with you. Now I'm going to let this run if you want to know the facts and figures about how the F40 came to be. I talk about that in the rear redesign of this car, so you might want to go back and check that before you check out this video. But now you're already here, so that's kind of too late. But I'm gonna let this run and come back at the end of the video and summarize everything that went down right here. So the F40 is coming along nicely here and I have to say as soon as I started working on this I had so much fun creating this design and the end result I am gotta be honest I'm really happy with the end result here of the front view of the F40. I'm more happy with the front view actually than I, than I am with the rear view. I think this looks more... The thing is as I said in the brief I want it to be an homage to the F40. Not a completely new design. And you can see the line that I was talking about that I was going to add in the hood there. It goes past the uh, the, uh, the headlight into the, the, the top of the fender and then if you look at it from this view it continues into the side top side intake there and then the back of the side intake line continues into the C pillar and then goes back down all around the greenhouse back into the fender and that is to me, one of one of my favorite lines on this redesign here, I think the front actually works really well too with this new grille and also the new headlights that we uh, that we created from making the I think it's a daylight running lights or something like that, make them into the proper headlights, and then of course replacing the 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 space for the pop up headlights with this air intake instead and same with the wheels I don't want to change it it looks so good like this whenever I finish a design like this I want people who watch this car from not not the complete redesign but if you watch this if you see this sketch here just and you don't have no you don't have any references of wh where it comes from or what it is I want you to literally think that this is an F40 obviously but there is something interesting with it it looks modern it looks like it could be built today and that's the exact thought that i want people to have when they see my modernization such as this one and not be you know confused is this an f40 this could probably be an f40 what we see with all these new brand new concept that we see online which are by the way fantastic looking concepts some of them are really really cool and i love a lot of them but to me it's not what i do here on the channel i still want to keep the originality of the F40, the proportions of the F40, change a couple of few lines, and just have that hint of modernization on it. As if you kind of have to struggle to find what really has been changed on this design, but something clearly is different, if that makes sense. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you enjoyed it, which I think you did since this is the end of the video and you're either here watching this video right now or you had your cat accidentally step 
on the space bar on your keyboard and set off the video here. If you're here, make sure you hit that like button and if you're new, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these kind of videos. I'm the Sketch Monkey, thanks again, take care and I will see you in the next video.